7 Tips on Style for Writing MBA Application Essays This session is about making the same content have greater impact. First tip would be to tell a story. Don't just state facts. Avoid a resume-like feel to the essays. While of course you have to quantify, you have to give concrete takeaways. Try to bind those facts, those numbers, into a story. Something very, very important. Then, avoid a mechanical feel. Rather, have a high emotional appeal in your essays. Don't exceed the word limit. Doing so suggests that you are either being a bit casual or you are not able to fit your answer into the prescribed word limit. Either is bad. Get to the point soon enough. A common problem that we see with the essays is that sometimes the context takes really long to build and a student gets to the main topic very late into the essay. Think of a structure where you get to the point soon enough in the essay, and even when you are giving the context, the background, you sound like you are answering the question. Next, have logically separated paragraphs. Ensure that one paragraph flows from the previous paragraph, and at the same time the two paragraphs play two different roles in your essay. Then, avoid weak sentences. A student once wrote this as the first sentence in his statement of purpose. You see, while the content is very meaningful, the way it is presented is not very impactful. So compare this with what he eventually came up with. The second version is a lot more impactful. One small tip we will give you is to avoid very short sentences. It is always difficult to make these really short sentences seem impactful. Have larger sentences. And wherever possible, use comma or colon to frame rich, multidimensional answers. For example, if you are writing about why you want to attend a particular B-school, one style may be that you write short sentences. I want to attend this school because of this reason. In the next sentence, you talk about another reason. Then, in another sentence, you talk about another reason. The same content can be made a lot more impactful if you rather suggest that I want to attend this particular institution because of A, B, C, D, and E. This way, you will be able to make far greater impact using fewer words. Next, try to avoid weak words or weak phrases in your essay. For example, also, imagine such a word would be needed. But if you use a more powerful synonym such as furthermore, moreover, or even besides, the impact will be more. Next, avoid repetition of words or phrases in your essays. For example, I have. Once we saw an essay where a student had used I have seven times over a span of a hundred words. To display greater maturity in your writing, think of a new phrase or a different style. Structure your sentences a bit differently. Or simply use a synonym. These small factors come together to make an essay look good. Last, please ensure a well-formatted document. This is one aspect that is often underestimated. The same content can look a lot better when the formatting is good. Ensure clear, consistent font. Ensure legibility. Choose a font type as well as size that is easy to read. Start a new essay from a new page. It's always recommended to put the essay question at the top of the essay. The question does not contribute to the word limit. Healthy, consistent spacing is always appreciated. Ensure that the document looks neat. To help you visualize, we pulled some random data from the internet. The first thing you should do when you complete your essay is to press Ctrl plus A, and if these fields are blank, it means that the document is not consistent. The font type and the font size are not consistent. We need to choose some fine font and a decent size. Some part of it is not justified. Some part of it is justified. Ensure whatever you like. It is a matter of style but make sure that either it is justified or it is not justified. Ensure consistency in every aspect. Another very important point is ensuring proper spacing. Generally, 1.5 lines or double line spacing is optimal. And ensure this after some point, something like 10 points or 15 points. This would ensure a logical gap between two paragraphs. A lot of it is a matter of style. Let's go ahead with single line spacing. For example, in 10 point, and now, if we are still seeing lots of gaps, it means there are extra gaps between the paragraphs. So eventually, you will see the document getting a lot more neat to look at. 
You can also play around a bit with the page layout. Look at the margins. Personally, I prefer narrow margins a lot more. But again, it's a matter of style, and you may have your own preferences. You can also put some page borders depending on what you like. So again, a matter of style. Check whether you like it. And see, I have put the question separately in a different font, so that it is clearly differentiated from rest of the write-up. You can insert header and put your name in the header. The font of the header should be a bit smaller than the regular font on the body of the text. So name, surname. And if 11 is the font I have used for the document, I would want to use something like an 8 for the header. Some admission committee members like to take printouts and then read. So having the name and the page number on the document may just help them a bit. There is a lot you can do with the formatting. But the main point is, the last point here, that the document must look neat. That was about the formatting. And with this, we end the seven tips. This was the concept, friends. To get a strong grasp over the entire MBA applications process, please watch all the 20 plus videos in this series. Thanks for watching.